On this video, I'm gonna take you through the process of an RV carport so that maybe it won't take you a year to get yours done. All right, here we are quite a few months back. I have researched and done everything for this RV cover. It probably took me three or four months. I checked different places, different prices, which I will talk more about that probably a little later on in the video. But here is where I wanna start because you have to get a good level place for your pad and you want it at least two feet wider and two feet longer than what the actual RV shed is. Now, this is gonna take a few months because it's taken a little while for it to come in and then once we get it in and installed, it'll be probably about six, about six weeks before our RV comes back from the hunting club because we have it stored up there right now. So it's not gonna actually be in the space and I don't wanna finish the video until the actual RV is back in the space. I wanted to kind of show you here at the beginning before we actually have the cover up and then I will video the process of them putting up the cover. And then at the end, I will talk to you about the different sizes and how things worked and what sizes I went with. So stay to the end. I will have all the dimensions and everything at that point. We have the pad done and that is ready. Now we've got about six, eight weeks before the actual awning comes in and they'll put it up and they will get it installed for us. Well, here's Bill. He is getting the camper all ready to move out of the way for the new shed. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. It is finally going up. It looks so big. It looks huge. Excited. They got it up finished. Um, Bill's gonna be home late tonight and, and he can put the camper back in there. But right now, I'm not, the only thing is I don't like is it kind of sways side to side, but I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna look at it more later. I've gotta go now. And so anyway, I'll talk to you more about this uh, in a day or two. So yesterday we got the RV carport installed. While it's not quite what I was thinking, um, let me show you what I mean. It is super, super sway. So here's my first few thoughts on this so far. Is one, the lady that we talked about, I told her I wanted one side three quarters of the way down and the other side just maybe a quarter of the way down. So she told me to order three panels. This is three panels. They're all on one side and that makes that side three quarters of the way down. Or when I first ordered this, and this is, you know, we're going on five months now, I, the ground was not graded, we didn't have anything done, and I wasn't thinking, I was thinking we'd be able to drive out the back side of it, and I didn't want any kind of panels back there. But now, after we have it installed, I wanted at least a couple more panels on the back side, and now I need panels on this side. I called the company, and they were super nice, I ordered this from a company out of Gardendale. I guess they like wholesale or broker it out, but you can call this company direct. I don't know if there would be a price difference between those because at the time I did not know. I did call them back about adding the panels just because the lady didn't disclose correctly how many panels would be do what I wanted it to do. So, this saga is going to continue. It's been five months since we've started this, so what's another month or so? I called today and I ordered three more panels for this side, and I ordered two panels for the back, just because the sun, the way it goes across, it just needs it back there. So you're going to be learning from my mistakes and the things that I wish I had known when I started this. So we ordered that today and I'll go over all the numbers and prices at the end of the video. I just was gonna save that for that because I don't know what else we may have to do to this. Just because it is so wobbly, we're hoping that adding the three panels on this side and the two panels on the back 
we'll sturdy it up some, but right now, and there's storms coming tomorrow, I sure hope this is still here tomorrow when the wind storms. Is this supposed to be like 40 and 50 mile an hour winds tomorrow? So I guess we'll see if it'll hold up for that. This has probably been the longest planned out YouTube video I have ever done. I'm excited. I can't wait until Bill puts the camper back in there and we finish this up. Oh, also the installers messed up and I ended up telling them to leave it. It's, it not a huge deal to me and I'll, I guess I'll have to show it to you from a different angle because I was going to try to but you're going to get the sun in your eyes. The trim that goes around the top, the actual eaves, they were supposed to be white to match our house because I wanted the gray panels with the white eaves. He grabbed red so we have red eaves but he did have on the truck some of these in white so they ended up using those. I didn't want him to have to drive all the way back out here to replace the red. And it wasn't horrendous, but it wasn't what I ordered. Oh, and they did. I know some people are going to be like, oh, it's going to blow away, which it may still blow away. A two foot long rebar nails, I guess, because it has like a head on them and dr hammered them down in the ground to hold everything in place and secure it since we're not on concrete here. Because if you were on concrete, they would have screwed it to the concrete or bolted it into the concrete. All right, again, I will update you. I ordered the new panels this morning. Um, the lady said probably take like a month. Um, they would just run it on an order when they come out this way. And then um, I'll update you again <laughs> when we get to that point. jump on here real quick since I'm talking about the shed cover and I wanted to tell you that a big thing that I have really enjoyed about it is it's like 93 94 today outside but it is only 82 inside the camper and in the past if it was 90 something outside it would be over a hundred in this camper it would just be sitting here baking so I am loving the cover over the camper right now I researched and got a lot of prices from a bunch of different places and we ended up going with quality outdoors now I know they do Alabama Mississippi maybe Tennessee I will leave a link in the description box just in case you want to use this company you can make that decision as I go through this process of telling you the whole story of getting it we went with an 18 by 40 with 14 foot legs and it our camper we have the grand design 2018 337 and i feel like our camper fits in it very well it literally goes from end to end i think if i had to do it again i would probably go a little longer than 40 foot might have done like 42 or 44 that would have given it a little bit more overhang over the actual camper. When I was researching, trying to figure out what size I wanted in our camper, I was going off of what a lot of people on the internet had said, and this was pretty much all across the board what size everyone got. And I think this size works. I'm not gonna say that it doesn't. The camper is completely under the awning and it completely covers it. This place that I ended up, when I called around, the prices that I were getting was about $10,000. That was just for the metal and the install of it. One of my past clients had a building done and she had used the same place and said they were cheaper than anybody else. So I went up there to check it out and it was. It was $7,000 for this. And everything else was pretty much nine to $10,000. So it was a considerable amount cheaper. I originally ordered it from a place in Gardendale, but found out that they like sub went through the actual place. I probably, if I'd had to do it again, I would have went through the actual place. After we had it ordered, 
they told us it was going to be about two to three months ended up being five months because they told us wrong i called the actual company to check on ours and the lady's like we've been running five months for a while she said i don't know why they told you three months my expectations were already like going downhill the installers get out here they're putting it up it looks really wavy I'm just going to say, when I was watching them put it up, it was super wavy. I had him put the three pieces on that side. I called that day and ordered two more pieces for the left side. And then after we saw it up, we wanted to add some in the back. I paid for it. It was another $600. I paid for it. And they said that they had it in stock. They would have it delivered. No problem. Well, about three weeks went by and I had not heard from them. So I called them. I'm like, hey, I was just checking on my metal. I paid for it. Y'all said that it wouldn't be no time. You would just have to get an installer to install it and we would have it. The lady's like, oh, well, we've sold out of your metal now and it's on back order. We, would you want a different color? No, I don't want a different color. I am matching what I already have out there. So we had to wait. That was in... February, the end of February, 1st of March, it's July 27th, and they just now installed the final pieces. I think that is insane that it took this long to get this put up. It was very aggravating, but that being said, if you're on the fence of getting one, you have to get one. This thing was a game changer on the heat and the wear and tear it has put on our camper. Our camper, since we bought it, has always been out in the sun, out in the weather. Things warp, turn, like it's the worst thing you can do for your camper. We get that, we know that. We just at the time didn't want to spend the seven or $10,000 to get it covered. Wish we had done that long time ago. Two things, one, by adding that little bit on the back, I uh, I was climbing up there to look on the top to show y'all how far away top of the camper was from the top of the building. And I hit my head because the camper is so close to the back. That tin is almost too low. You just have to watch your head climbing up and down on top of the camper. But we liked that piece across the back. Keeps the wind from blowing the rain in on it. And it gives a little more protection to the roof of the camper. And that's one of the reasons I said I would have probably made this thing maybe two or four foot longer than I did. I even added a solar light to the front of it. They have come so far with solar lights. This thing is a floodlight that is a solar light. It is the coolest thing. We're able to put it up under the building, but the actual solar panel has a long line and you can put it on top of the building so that it gets solar. And that thing is so bright. Love that thing. And I'll put a link in the description box. We got it off of Amazon and it wasn't terribly expensive. I seriously, I think I wanna add some more around the house because I love this thing so much. Now it has different settings on it and I don't remember what setting Bill ended up, but when we first got it, it would turn on during the daylight. Like you would walk over there and it would turn on and it would be daylight. It wouldn't stay on very long, but then Bill adjusted. He said there was an adjustment on it and he adjusted it. And now I, it probably stays on three or four minutes before it turns off once it's tripped. What we ended up getting was 12 gauge metal it went through a windstorm the next day after it was installed and it didn't come down. So we are happy with that. Adding these new panels to it has made it way more sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's moving around or anything. If you have any questions at all about the building, maybe something that I didn't cover, you can leave me a comment below and I will definitely answer your questions. And if you feel like you've got a question that you don't want to be in the comment section and you can email me anytime and I will definitely answer you that way. I know that a lot of people have been waiting on this video and I am so sorry that it has taken this long. It was just the longest process I have ever gone through. The company that we got it from, I don't think they're a bad company and that if I had to do it again for the price difference, 
I probably would do it through them again. Just know that their communication isn't the best. Rather than them reaching out to me anytime there was a problem, I had to reach out to them to find out that there was a problem. I'm so glad that I was able to finish this video for y'all finally and give you my dimensions. Till next time, like and subscribe.